and welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today's a fun video. It's a Hobby Lobby haul, but first I want to say thank you for all my subscribers for watching. I love you all very much and God bless everyone. And um, a Happy New Year to everyone as well. I hope everybody has a healthy, safe, happy new year. So let's get this Hobby Lobby haul going. I have some fun things to show you today. Hobby Lobby was having a huge sale, so my husband bought me a bunch of stuff, and then my dad sent me a Hobby Lobby card for Christmas gift. So let's get started. So first I'd like to show you this pink glue gun that I absolutely just adore, and it's mini, and it has a small nozzle on there because, it, you know, it pinpoints your project a little bit better. It helps out. So this was only $3.99. And I just adore it so much. I can't wait to use it. So let's just put that right there for the glue gun. And um, I bought some Rit dye in Petal Pink. And this was only $2.99. And I'm going to not only dye some um, fabric and lace, but also some papers and cardstock and tags with this. So this will be fun. If anybody wants to see a video about how to do that, I will show you. But I also love dyeing with um, flavored teas to scent my lace and my paper. So if you're interested in that, just leave a comment down below and say, hey, I would love to see you dye some lace and papers with tea and your Rit dye. So I got some Rit dye and I got this embroidery thread. I love this thread. It's a better quality. I've used, um, you know, some generic uh, thread and it just, it knots up very fast. But this is, I love this color. It is so beautiful and it looks so pretty on the paper and the journals and projects I'm going to work on uh, this year. So I got some of that and I got a punch. Um, this was $11.99. Oh, the thread was $3.99. And this was $11.99. So Hobby Lobby had a sale 50% um, off their papers and cardstock. So I'll show you that in just a minute. This is a 1.5 inch circle punch. And I'm going to use this for a lot of projects. So I got a punch. And then, um, of course, I got some, you know, some smaller glue sticks for the new glue gun. I am going to use my other glue gun too, but that pink one is just adorable. And then I also got some uh, Tim Holtz frames. And these were $6.99, and I just love the lace frame detail on these. These are just beautiful, and I'm going to use these on some projects uh, this year. So that will be fun. I love the lace detail. Can you see the... The lace detail on these frames, they're so pretty. I can't wait to use them. I have some fun things coming up this year, so make sure to stay tuned for that. And I got some Prima flowers, and uh, let's see, the frame was $6.99. These Prima flowers are $5.99, and I love these flowers. And I picked this one out because there's a rose right here, and you'll see in just a minute, um, some vellum I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Um, it was 50 cents because it was half price, so I got a bunch of them. But this rose matches, this whole line matches perfect with the paper that I'm going to use. So pretty. I love these flowers. And then I also picked up Prima um, miniature flowers as well. They're 48 pieces, $5.99. This one was nine pieces for $5.99 but this one comes with little leaves too that that you can attach them to your project and the colors are just beautiful really love the colors so this was a nice this was a nice haul very nice haul and um and then i picked up some charms now, this is for the same project. I'm going to be using the pink thread, the pink dyed lace and papers, and um, these. And I have tried avocado papers um, 
but I, I'm looking for more of a deeper pink, so um, a deeper baby pink. So I'm going to try and play around with that color. But um, here's these beautiful charms. This is a mirror charm. Isn't it so cute? And the colors are just beautiful. I love the colors. Be perfect for the for the project I'm working on. So um, five of those for $6.99. And then, let's see, and then these fairy tale little jars. Now they have, um, let's see, focus. They have like crescent, moon, and stars, hearts, circles, and something else I can't quite see, but they're they're just adorable. So I'm gonna. Attach those to some of the projects. So again, five for four ninety nine. Plus, I love the sound of them; <laughs> they're fun. And um, I got these in the wedding section of Hobby Lobby, three ninety nine for twelve flowers. But I'm going to use these for centers of shabby chic flowers. I'm going to make, and it comes in two different sizes. Let's see if we can open this up real fast. Well, let me see. So that's $3.99. Yeah, $3.99 for 12 flowers. Let's see, here's the first size. Those are perfect for flower centers, shabby chic flower centers. And then let's take a look at the big ones. So you get six of the small ones and six of the big ones. And these would be actually really pretty to dye too. So I might dye these with some tea. You know, maybe I can dip it in like that and almost make like an ombre effect. That would be really fun. So those are nice. And then I got um, these jewel scatters again in the wedding section at Hobby Lobby, but I'm going to use these for centers for shabby chic flowers and it has rhinestone and pearls two of my favorite things so um so three of those for $2.99 and then I got these beautiful cute and beautiful little craft sacks they're paper sacks $3.49 for 20 piece I thought it was a good bargain but um, it comes with five designs, four of each. So I thought these were beautiful. So I'm going to take them all out because I would like to actually see. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's really pretty. Look at the gold foil and the rose. So one, two, three, four. And then there's the gold foil keys. And this is beautiful too. I like the foil accent on them. I think they're pretty. So there's four of those. And it's the same on the back sides of them too. So if you didn't want to glue it to something, you know, they're pretty. I love the detail on these little sacks, but I figured um, it'd be easy to follow that and make my own. And then I love this pattern. I forget what this pattern is called, but it's on fabric. And I absolutely adore this. I've seen it in pink and red. And this is like the color, it looks white on the camera, but it's really like a vintage cream. And this is like a vintage brown and it looks so pretty. I, I, if that comes to me, I'll let you know. It's a, it's a design and I forget what it's called. I think it's French. It's French. Um, Ugh. It is so pretty. I know what it is. I just, I forgot what it was. If it comes to me, I'll, 
I'll let you know. All right, so I got I got all this. I'm very thankful to have all this, but I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way real fast, and I'll be right back. Okay, now for um, the cardstock and the paper. So here's the cardstock that I picked up. This was five ninety nine, but half price. Let's see. Yeah, took it all off. Yeah, it's half price. All the cardstock and all the papers were half off, so I grabbed a bunch. So I love these colors. These are probably my favorite colors to craft with, but it's picking up different colors on the camera compared to in person. This is more of a baby pink. This is more of a creamy beige. This is uh, a beautiful white, like a vintage white almost. And this is like a marshmallow white. And then this is e even a babier pink. So it's just coming up just a little bit different on the camera. But I picked that up and that's cardstock. It's beautiful. So make sure you run to your Hobby Lobby. They're still having the sale. And then I picked this up. Let's see. So I picked up one, two, three, four, five. seven or eight pieces of this vellum. It is absolutely beautiful. I love this design on here and it's going to go perfect with the flowers and I'm going <clears throat> and I'm going to use the charms and I'm going to use these with it and um, make some shabby chic flowers and so one of these up into a vellum envelope and um, use this beautiful thread on here. So it's going to be beautiful. I can't wait to you guys to see this. So it is a very beautiful, very beautiful vellum. When I saw it, I fell in love with it. So this is called, this is the Paper Studio. So this was 50 cents and Floral Clusters Vellum. Now it's like a a lavender, a very light lavender and beautiful pinks. It's so pretty, so feminine and so pretty. I can't wait to play with that. I love that vellum. And then I picked up some of these. This is one of my favorite paper lines. Um, this is from the paper studio as well, Eloise Floral. And I love this design. It has like French script in the background and beautiful cream and pink roses with leaves. So I love that. And um, this paper is so much fun. I love this paper. It is, this is like a pearly pink, very, very light pearly pink color. The Paper Studio again in pink quartz metallic. So I picked a bunch of these up. They're just a beautiful texture. And it's like, like I said, a pearly, a pearly baby pink. It's just beautiful. I can't wait to play with all these new papers. And here's another one. Absolutely beautiful color. It's another metallic. Um, again, the Paper Studio. And this is Mountain Rose Metallic. This is just, I love the color. It will go well with the vellum. Let me show you. So I'm going to try to make some papers with this to try and come out this color. So I have some metallic paint I'm going to mix with it, or I mean ink to mix with it. But do you see where I'm getting at here? Springtime is coming up, so I'm thinking spring. And then my last one is this one. And this is a little darker pink, but it's absolutely beautiful pink too. Rose Gold Metallic from the Paper Studio. So make sure you run to your Hobby Lobby and pick these things up. You know, 
why they're on sale. Why not? As much as we love to make things and it makes us happy, especially when we're all having a rough time. We can support each other and love one another and do things for one another. We're here to serve others. So um, this is this is a, be a wonderful haul. I have, a, I have a few more things to share with you and then I'm finished. Let's see, I got this embossed paper. I want to get an embossing machine, but they were $80 at Hobby Lobby and I just, I can't get that just yet, but I, I want an embossing machine. Because this paper is just beautiful. This is like a pearl paper, a pearl color. It's beautiful. And again, it's the Paper Studio. And this is rose embossed white. But it looks like pearls. Pearly, a pearly white. It's really pretty. I really love that embossed look. And then I have one more embossed paper to show you again. It's it's just beautiful, and I love the texture of embossed paper. I can't wait to get an embossing machine. I have to save my money. And this one's medallion embossed ivory, but it's almost the same color as the white. Maybe a little bit different, but this is this is they're both like a pearly color, and they're so pretty. I can't wait to play with these. And then this one right here is really cool. I've seen a video on YouTube about how to make your own homemade paper. I'm going to have to try it. But this is, um, I loved the ripped edges. It just makes it look vintage. Again, 50% off, plain homemade white, the Paper Studio. And it's just, the texture almost feels like a milk carton texture. And then again, I love these edges. I'm going to ink these with a little bit of um, either pink or vintage brown on the edges to make it look vintage. But it'll be so much fun. So I hope that um, you liked this Hobby Lobby haul. And make sure you run to Hobby Lobby and pick up some of that um, paper while it's 50% off. It's so much fun. But um, I hope that you guys have a lovely day, and I will see you in my next video. I look forward to this year and crafting and making beautiful things, and um, I look forward to seeing all your beautiful makes and what you guys bring in this new year. So God bless you all. I love you all, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a good day. Bye.